So far, we've explored the ways the leading English composers improvised from the 16th to the 20th centuries. I hope this film has shed light on their methods and to some extent demystified the illusionist's art. But what about the present or even the future? More and more organists are improvising now, both in church and recital, and new trends are developing. Improvisation is now considered, I think, more of a legitimate art form. It's, it's more taught in, in conservatoires, and it, it's not just thought of simply as something you do to get the choir into evensong. At the same time, I don't think we should do ourselves down that British organists did improvise in that style very well. And in some ways, it's quite hard to do a, a tailor-made improvisation in G major, um, picking up the style of the canticles which follow or, or the hymn. Um, it's harder to do that, perhaps, than just to go vroom, and throw yourself at the organ and pretend that you're Pierre Cochereau. If you go back 300 years to the Baroque period, for instance, then you weren't really considered to be a complete musician unless you could improvise well. And all the famous composers from Bach, from um, Chopin, we know was an amazing improviser, and Rachmaninoff, uh, they could all, you know, they had this sort of quickness of mind and the sort of very fast reflex, I suppose, between their oral imagination and their fingers. And uh, it's just great to hear that coming back, I think. We're here in Kingston Parish Church, where the organ was built by Frobenius in 1988. It was designed to serve three purposes, to be a concert organ, a continual organ, and an instrument on which one can accompany Anglican choral repertoire. What's great about it is the whole variety of tone colors it has, which is a great source of inspiration for modern style improvisation. We're going to improvise now a piece for organ and percussion. Uh, this is a rather unusual combination and yet an exciting one. The whole improvisation is going to be based on a short little motif, this one here. And using this little motif, we're going to turn it into a whole piece. <laughs> 